MMA Weekly here with Elliot Marshall. Elliot, getting ready for the next big step in your uh, UFC career here against uh, Vladi Matyushenko. What do you, how do you feel going into this fight with uh, somebody that's got the experience of a Matyushenko? Man, I feel great. Uh, Matyushenko has a ton of experience with a ton of uh, with a ton of fights. But if you look at my last fight, I fought Jason Brills, and Jason Brills had 19 fights, and he was or 18 fights, whatever it was, and he was 17 and one. Yeah. You know? So with pretty four, impressive record. With four wins against UFC vets, two in the UFC, so. No, just the difference is, is nobody knows who Jason Brills was, and everyone knows who Vladimir Matyushenko is. So that's the only difference, is you know. And the thing is, is it doesn't really matter who's the better fighter; it matters who fights the best on March 21st for about 15 minutes. So he could be the best every other day, but that doesn't matter. Now speaking about that, his style, he he really hasn't, uh, I don't think, evolved too much in people's eyes. You know, mm-hmm. he tends to bring a good wrestling game and mm-hmm. some ground and pound. But you, uh, you know, you've gone through a big evolution the last couple of years you, since yeah. the Elliott Marshall now, who's got three UFC wins under his belt. The Elliott Marshall that walked into the, into the Ultimate Fighter house uh, would have lost two fi- would have lost his last two fights in the UFC. Um, I was kind of timid. I didn't really believe in myself too much. Uh, but but the Ultimate Fighter taught me how to do that. You know, like going through that whole ordeal. And uh, when I when I came out at the end of it, man, I was just I was just a different person, and, uh, and I could just endure so much. And, and I worked on my skills, you know. I, I had the mental fortitude to really uh, to really hone down and, and sit down and really work hard. Is that really what uh, most guys can really take from the Ultimate Fighter? It's not a very realistic situation, really, sure. to be in, but. Does it really build you mentally to be tough mentally to come out of that? I think Dana says it all the time. You time. find out whether this is what you want to do or not when you have to go in that house. And I think some people find out that this is what they do want to do for their living, for their life, and some people find out that they, this is not what they want to do. And I for sure found out that this is this this is who I am, this is what I do. And uh, so that, that's it, man. You know, I just I just I just learned that and I learned that I can do anything. I learned how to really believe in myself, and I can't tell you why. I can't tell you how. It's just, it just is what it is. So, how do you approach this fight with Vladdy? You know, you step in there with the guy with all the experience, with the big record again. You know, it doesn't matter. It's like I said. You know, Vladdy can be as good as he is, and I can be as good as I am. And it, it's who fights the best on March 21st for 15 minutes. It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters. Uh, what happened in our training camp didn't matter. What happened at home, none of, that, none, of that, none of that stuff matters. All that matters is who goes out there and fights the best. Fight my fight. Fight to win. And I should take, and everything should take care of itself. I can't control what happens in the cage. I can control me, and that's it. I can just, Elliot Marshall is the only thing I can worry about. And so uh, Elliot Marshall is going to walk out of that cage with his I'm hand gonna, I'm going to walk out 4-0. Oh. I'm going to be 4-0. And uh, I don't care what happens after that either, because that doesn't. I can't I have nothing to do with any of that. All I have to do is train hard and fight hard for 15 minutes, and I'll win. Or the outcome should be what it what it's going to be. I can't even say I'll win because I can't control it. A couple of people to thank. I got to thank uh, absolutely all my trainers and my training partners. Um, everyone at uh, Easton BJJ at Grudge Training Center. Down in Jackson's, I gotta thank my family, um, from my wife to my mom who came out and helped out. My wife, man, just had a baby and she, she stepped up big time and took care, t- took on a lot so that I could I could train well. And, and my mom as well coming out and helping me out. Uh, my, and some of my sponsors, I gotta thank Sprawl, uh, MTX Audio Performance MMA, and uh, TCB Fightwear. All right, well there you have it, the people behind Elliot Marshall. All right, guys, thanks.